lose it. There is that horn. Texas Christian University fans sound off before a big national championship game on Monday. Not only fierce on the field, but some TCU traditions are worthy to cheer as well, like the frog horn and the hypnotoad. <laughs> Jason Lessicar sometimes sounds the frog horn as the coach of the TCU Rangers. Thanks a lot for talking with us this morning. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, so the uh, Rangers are a, I guess, a co-ed spirit team, also caretakers of the Froghorn, and that sounds like quite an honor in the eyes of Horn Frog fans. It is. Uh, they, they put a lot of time in, a lot of practice, and a lot of hard work, and they have to learn a lot of different uh, of the mechanics that operate it and, and how to actually use it safely. And another mysterious, sometimes ominous tradition at TCU is the hypno-toad. Max Duggan, TCU's quarterback, has even said, if we didn't have it, I don't know if we'd have the season that we're having. The hypno-toad? The hypno-toad has definitely made a splash this year. You know, it originated <laughs> on the TV show Futurama, and thanks to our amazing uh, media and production teams over here at TCU, they were able to bring it into our stadium. The fun clips and videos that lead up to the entrance of the Hypno Toad just help to build that much more hype. And there are a lot of cheers and traditions, including the Froghorn, that help build fan energy, uh, spirit, and excitement. But this phenomenon has taken it to a whole new level. And it's when the Hypno Toad makes its entrance on that big screen, you feel the energy and excitement skyrocket at that moment everywhere in the stadium. And it is absolutely incredible what this has done and how it boosts the energy on the field for our players as well. It's just a very strange thing that has occurred. And I guess the only thing to say about it is all glory to the Hypno Toad. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's always kind of interesting sometimes to see just the little things that can bring a team together. All right, so you mentioned uh, cheers as well. TCU has this rousing cheer by the name of Riff Ram, which gets even loud in the locker room. Let's take a listen. That's awesome. So we understand this is one of the oldest and most unique cheers in collegiate sports? It is. It, it goes back to around the 20s. Um, and there's been some different variations of it that have come about, but it has really cemented itself. Um, I, I'd not only say it's a cheer, but it's definitely a tradition. And it's when it gets going, as you can see in the locker room there, it creates a locomotive type motion. And in the stands, the fans start swaying side to side, and they 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 start they re they reverse directions, and they get louder and faster each time they repeat it, and they repeat it three times. Yeah, this is uh, this is so cool, and you kind of see the momentum there and the energy, and you kind of understand why. Although TCU may have been taken for granted early in the season, no one is taking that for granted now. Hey, we're cheering for you guys. The Collegiate Football Playoff National Championship game coming up Monday at SoFi Stadium. It's at 6.30 our time. TCU versus Georgia in Englewood, California. Go Frogs. Jason Lessicar, coach of the TCU Rangers. Thanks for your time this morning. Hey, thanks, and go Frogs. Yeah.